What are you, kitty cat? Well, there are meatheads and mongos. I got some uh, good news, and I got some bad news. Good news is the Red Rings lipstick, and bad news is the Black Rings Copenhagen. No, but all seriousness, though. Our balls are this close to the bandsaw. The old, uh, blank Worthington video. I guess you're not allowed to call Mr. Mick forgets everything slash likes to smell children. Um, a, uh, well, you know what? I don't know if any of you guys seen the video, but, uh, but it seems like, uh, you're not allowed to lip some people off on old YouTube there. Oh, sorry, LubeTube. Um, they're not very, uh, not very happy about the, uh, about all that stuff. And they basically completely taken my video down, and then they put it up, and then they hit it. And then, the, the, so the the one thing you can guarantee with, with, uh, with all this silencing of people is that they'll never ever tell you the truth. They'll blow smoke up your arse till you damn near light on fire. I'll prove you as a witchcraft on me to get the fire off me! But they'll never tell you the truth as to what's going on. So what was actually going on, I got a bunch of messages from a bunch of people that were trying to find the video and they'd click on my channel and it would say that my channel has no content or they'd click on it and it would say this video's been removed for whatever and then I'd click on it and it would say it was all fine. Them dirty bastards, uh... Oh, them dirty buggers. Oh, don't want to trigger anybody. Um, they they do not want me on the old lube tube. So what I've done is I've spent money, which sucks, on this lube tube editor feller. And he's got the daunting task of going through any future uh, videos that I'm going to be uploading and editing the swear words out. <laughs> So old lube tube, yeah, she's basically giving me two options here. The option one is I'm gone. That's it. That's all. That's all she wrote. I just keep on uh, just doing what I'm doing out here without a camera rolling. Or uh, it doesn't really matter to me either way. I, I love making lube tube bitches and I love making you guys laugh. But, uh, you know, it's the way she goes. So there's other two options, three options for you guys. Either A, I just completely sign out. I'll just take her all down and it's the way she goes. Uh, option two, um, I just keep making stuff for the old Patreons. Those guys have just been loyal. Like, you think Slave Lake's loyal? Those guys stuck through and through everything. Uh, yeah, the Patreons are going to be able to enjoy an, an un, or a, the greasy version of all my videos. Because, uh, you know, once you upload it on there, people aren't able to, well, any, any of my Patreons, I don't think, are going to pay me money to go on there and report the crap out of my videos. So any of the patrons, chances are uh, they're going to be able to enjoy all the uh, the greasy stuff. But all the rest of you guys is a third option. I keep making videos, I keep putting them out, but they're going to be ungreased, which kind of sucks. Well, it really sucks, actually. It it really uh, kicked me right in the dink, but it's the uh, the way of the road. It's the way she goes. So I don't know if you know this or not, but the left doesn't really like freedom of speech. So I guess freedom of speech ain't free. And uh, we're going to have to roll with the punches here. So you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section until they delete that. But uh, let me know how you feel about this because uh, I like making videos. I, up I like uploading them for you guys. But at the same time, if, if uh, they're going to be completely deleted or whatever every time I upload them, then what's the point of getting a hard dink if you're not going to go wrestle with the old lady? Look at that dirty dump cat. So don't hate on me because uh, I'm just doing what I can with what I got because... Oh, the world is becoming quite the place. Oh, and I don't know if you can see this here or not, but, uh, old Peggy Leggin, he's getting the shop. No more minus 40, uh, ranching on, well, there's still gonna be minus 40 ranching on junk, but we're gonna have indoor options. Oh, man, some assembly may be required. So, uh, anyhow, enjoy the ungreased version of, uh, Mr. Worthington. There's two things truck drivers lie about grinding gears you know what they say we live in a world where the intelligent people are full of doubts and fears while the stupid ones are just jam-packed full of confidence well i can guarantee you that today is going to be a good day oh, well before we get this beautiful journey underway we got to turn up the tunes singing from the path to your side. Go lay down on the porch. Oh, and whoever tells you you can't take a stock HX35 and 40 pound after you well the waste gate off, they're full of 
That John Denver's full of shit, man. So what do you guys classify as a good buddy, you know? Like, you give a guy a call and you go for a beer, yeah, you know, you, know, fuck. you give a guy a call and, you know, you want to go f***ing dink around in the backyard on a truck or whatever, yeah. But when you give a guy a call and tell him that you got 10 big truck tires that you got to bar on and off rims and he still wants to come on the trip, that's how you know you got a good friend. What? Did we just become best friends? Yup! No, I'm just f***ing with you. I'm not by myself. I got my sawed off Frenchman. I am Lord Farquaad. Forgive me, my lord, for I was just saying a short... Farewell. What a f***ing read. He makes being a cripple easier by doing all the heavy lifting. Give me your other hand! Oh, my other hand isn't strong enough! Alright, we'll see how heavy your guys' pickups are compared to my f***ing pickup here. See how heavy this f***ing thing is. I'm gonna guess all of it. Can we get both wheels on there? Well, that's kilograms. That's 5,070 kilograms. So for all you Americans, you times that by 2.2 for American conversion. Oh, uh, we're through Old Raw Crotch, Alberta. The town that has a layer of dirt that'll never wash off. Time to go across this bridge that was built by the dinosaurs and been driven by Jesus. Just majestic though, isn't it, Sawed Off? Oh yeah, my grandpa built this bridge. Oh, it's French built. I'm expecting to fall through it any minute now. Old Fairview, Alberta. Roll them up. Where you can't tell if it's your cousin or your girlfriend, but it doesn't really matter. That there's my girl. Anyone has sex with my sister, it's gonna be me. What a nice place to have it. Here's Grimshaw. Hollywood Mixada Frenchman. What a treat. A little bit of a little bit of a drive up here, and next thing you know, what's up? K Whopper. Oh, just rolling through this minty town of old Grimshaw. And what the do you think that is right in there? Here she is, in her older glory. So we show up to Grimshaw. He's minty in the old six liter head gas delete, delete edition. Show up, can bring us a bunch of can consent. Thank you very much. <laughs> What's your guys' names? Ray. You guys want to say your names? Oh, yeah. Blair. Yeah. Hey, well, thanks a lot. You got sawed off Frenchman completely it up. Why can't you use the eraser on it? It doesn't work on the sticker. How dare you? Did you push hard? It smokes and it smells bad. Oh. Kind of like Jayco. Twerk it. Oh, yeah. All right, so the she needs. Oh, this hub is mint. The other one's straight. The one hub's. We need. I, I brought oil for an oil swap. We fucking want to change out fucking auxiliary Bruce Jenner oil. And we got to fiddle fuck with tires. So, uh, but this sweetheart of an old fucking man here says he's going to let me. Uh, he's going to show me how to run the fucking. So. That's gonna be a fucking tarit. Holy f Hurry the f up, you Where's sawed off French to? coward. He doesn't even have any fing extensions. Holy down. Alright, we fing checked all the oil. I was, I was actually here, uh, the f was it? At the beginning of the day off. We checked all the fing oils. We changed the fing oil in the ox box. The tranny oil was new. Alright, we got the hub swapped out. Alright, sawed off. Go in there and fing fire this hooer up. Make sure it's not in fing gear. All right, you got to push this guy in and then start her up. Oh, look at that loyal. It runs good. You got a right now? Well, we sit down, Corey and Trevor. They got big erections on them. Everybody noticed them. Jesus Christ, boys! Get up with the fucking erection! Oh, gorgeous. Oh, do it one more time here, a little brat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, she's fing idling. I idle her a little bit here. 
got the oil pressure. The fucking low air warning buzzer's gone, so that's fucking mint. Building there? Fuck yeah. Mint. Hey, twin sticks, remember that fing air conditioning unit I told you you could have? Well, it looks like she's fing, bud. Oh, by the way, if you don't know who the fing twin stick garage is, go check the fing sucker out. He is just a Billy fing big riggin' delight. Go have a gander. Look at that! Alright, so she's been running for about 10 fing minutes. Got fing oil here, got a couple PC light cans, no big deal. Alrighty, let's fing give her. We gotta go, we're, we're gonna go head over to the old tire shop and then uh, finish the rest of the oil change here. Do you even know how to drive this thing? You don't need a class one. All right, let's see what's going over here. There's a lot of gears going on here. So, all right, so if you don't know what's going on here, this thing's got a 15 and four in it. So this one's got 15, this one's got four. So it's bolo, low, Direct drive, overdrive, I guess. This here is the winch. And these are dogs and all kinds of rest of cool shit. But uh, I don't know why I'm explaining that to you because I barely know what the is going on. Oh, cigarette lighter work. No, cigarette lighter died. That's a lot of dimp. And away she goes. All right, so I think that's a gear. Or that's reverse here, and then this guy might want to release the brakes, and we're rolling. I don't know if that feels pretty low. Let's try the next one back. Let's try that one. Oh yeah, mint. Listen to that old kitty. Oh, the f***ing brakes work and everything. Oh, I better leave this one alone. There's just so many f***ers to play with. All right, now, first gear. Mint. Oh, Robin's racing. There's two things truck drivers lie about. Grinding gears. We all do it, you know? Oh, oh, some more than others, I guess. All right, I'll see you at the tire shop. Oh, we're just at K&L Tire here in Grimshaw. That's made her here all the way just fine. Oh, we lied to you, saw it off. They gave us a half of a sledgehammer. It's only half. It's like you. It's it's only a half a man. People who have run or walked across Canada. But uh, yeah, she made it here, man. Did it smoke like it was on fire? It smoked like it was on fire. Yeah. Fing man. All right, they think right, right hand yeah, thread. Right. So we gotta go left. All right, saw it off Frenchman and I got this fing going. But uh, I'm not a smart man. But I don't know what kind of. Oh, it's a fing double nut 500. Available at Walmart. Oh, I knew that. I knew what those were. Don't you worry about it. All right, look at how safety we are. Look at that. <laughs> those aren't even big cracks. That's how the old lady was when we first started dating. It's a lot tighter than that. All right, now we got new rubbers on there from a dump. This thing's safe as fuck. Just gone for lunch here at Norm's Pizza here in Mint, Mint the old uh, Grimshaw. And they got Dodge parking right here. That's awesome. All right, we've been at the tire shop for two hours. Now, I brought tire bars, I brought a jack, and I bought a compressor for all this shit. And I've used none of it because is this ever a lot of work. All right, since the people of Grimshaw are so minty, not only are they doing our tires, now we're doing an oil swap. Now he's gonna redline the out of his boat. Pump it. That's America's. All right. We gotta do an oil swap now and some coolers and things and stuff. This thing's badass. And and headlights and taillights? You don't need headlights and taillights. Alright, we're putting the an oil filter on. Let me see up that skirt. Come on. Twerk it. Oh yeah. Look at this Frenchman's 
Is there supposed to be a there? It looks like it's pretty camel toeish. That's where it go. Actually, we're in Canada. That's a that's a fucking moose knuckle. What do you think somebody would do with a cell phone? All right, we're throwing some Lucas in there. Mm, mm, Look at man. Hey Lucas, if you want to sponsor me, if you're not worried about PC content or you know bowing down to Joe Biden's tree, then you know hit me up. Maybe throw me a couple jugs of Lucas because I buy a lot of it. Alrighty, we got fucking oil in there. Hey, I'm going for the checklist, you oil. Yes. We got bung in there. Uh, give her all the way. Come on, oil pressure. Come on. There she comes. Come in. So, how, how are the backlights? What do you want me to say? What? You're supposed to say the backlights are like the guy yeah. driving it. They're dim maybe maybe i'm not the dim one hey who's got two thumbs and retarded point at yourself all right think with our dip right on full now we now we got to do fuel filters and uh this thing's like brand used right now oh she's got a rotor valve if you uh non-oil patch workers uh can figure out what that is you can go yourself so is this where the emission systems are on this truck this is all wrong is that, is that what happens so you got 1202 that goes in here, and then it goes into here, and then bald eagles blow out that side, and then Greta has a fucking meltdown. <laughs> Fuel filters, you check. Know, I actually heard a story about that. Oil filter, check. Front brakes. You don't need fucking brakes. You got it. All right, let's flash her up. These trucks didn't even need them. You don't even need all those brakes. All those extra brakes. How dare people. Right. America. This thing runs good. I'd be lying if I told you I didn't have an erection right now. It's getting diesel. All right, so we got the oil change done, the fucking, uh, fuel filters, diffs are good, auxiliary box, tranny's good. So now we're gonna learn how to drive it. Right, Ernie? Okay. All right, so he's, he's just showing us the shift pattern here. How does it work? Okay. You wanna go over it again? Yeah. Reverse, first, second, third, fourth, then overdrive. Okay. Just overdrive, and your auxiliary will be first, second, third, Fourth, which is overdrive again. Oh God. Oh. <sighs> okay. All right. Now, if you're starting out with a heavy load, then you're gonna go this one here. You're gonna go in first. This one in second. And then. God. Oh God. And... Okay. Shift this one up. You can shift right up to the top if you want. Or the and top in shift. high range as well? Uh, yeah, well, you go up to fifth, then go back into second. Enough! Do you want my head to explode? Yeah. In high range. Okay. Then go again, third, fourth, fifth. When you get up here, then start shifting this up. But you always start out in second with this one here. With that box? Yeah, and then third. And I, this is overdrive in this box. So when I go from, when I go from second in this box yeah. up to third, do yeah. I shift this back down to low range and no, then? No, not not these transmissions. That's that's the old five and a four. Oh, okay. Uh, when there's a big split, you would uh, you would split like you would shift this one up and this one down one. Okay. But yeah. this one you don't have, so once I'm on the highway and giving her in top range. You don't have to split can, at all. It I can let yeah. off, put slack in the drive line, and then switch it over to third. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. So do you want to show me how to put the poles up? Well, maybe I will, yeah. Get an old timer to show yeah. me how to get it up. Do I have to do any work or what? No, I'll do all the hard lifting. Okay, I'll run the truck and run the winch side out. And Sounds good. Show you what to do. We're a strong back and a weak mind. All right. Now, kids watching this, they uh, respect your f***ing elders because without them, we'd have sweet this, this is a big treat for my fat ass to get taught this. 
All right, we gotta go use some lube though. Oh, look at he's hauling a sawed off Frenchman. You want me dance for you, boss? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, what do we got going on? Paint. Now we're slacking off, so this I just went into the pit. So, you want to be in high range in now, guy? Yeah, high range. It's okay. High range. This is neutral. Okay. Run your pit, then shove his head. Kick the dog in. Okay. And Kick the dog off. over here. Right here. Take this, this is the grand brake, take that off. Okay. After you kick your dog in, so your lines don't take off on you. Okay. Okay, and then you just slack off till he gets enough slack to hook up that truck. Okay. And then we're gonna kick the dog out and we're in. All right, lines hooked up. You guys ready to go? Ready to go, Ernie. Okay. I'm gonna go in low. Go neutral, low. Neutral here. Neutral now, Ed. Yeah, this one will be a second. Oh, the that dogs are out now? Up. No, I don't have to put it out. There, you hear that black? A little bit. You hear that noise? Yeah. Oh, okay, so you just move the drum until the dog kicked out? No. Okay. Now we'll go to low range. Alright, we're ready? Yeah. So you're going to ride the band brake now? It is a little tight, yeah? You're almost lifting your... Oh, okay, so you're just riding it, eh? All right, so we're gonna pull the line back while you back up. He, he's gonna pull it toward like us. Okay. Yeah, actually should be on the ground walking back with it. Oh, hey, uh, you guys pull the line back. Pull the line back. But just listen to the guy. Frenchman. Brakes on. You know. This chain here hooked on the drum. Put a chain there on the deck. Yeah, no. I'm going to move the drum up a little bit so you can see the notch here. So there will be a notch on the passenger side of the drum? I can see it, yeah. Just let him move it? Yeah, he's got to move it. Okay. Very good, yeah. Okay, watch your fingers. Here. Shake hands with danger. Shake hands with danger. I don't know. What finger? <laughs> so this is going to kick up the hole? Oh, yeah. It's very easy because uh, you'll break that team if you go too far. Put those blocks in there. Grab this one block here with the chain on it. Block with the chain yeah, on the block there with the chain on it. Thank you very much for showing us this area. Oh, no problem. Okay. Another one for the right side, same thing. So between every every time you stop moving, what what are you taking out of gear? Everything's in neutral. Everything's in neutral? Yeah, everything's in neutral. Okay. Okay. Butter? No. Are your brakes on or the dogs in or something? Maxi brakes are on. Okay, that's it. Yeah. No, none of these brakes are on. No, no, these are off because uh, this is off because I got the dog kicked in. Okay. When the dog is kicked out, this has to be on. Okay. Otherwise, you're lying, you're. Yeah, it'll just start giving her. Yeah, okay. Take your, unhook your chain here. That's good. Okay. Watch. So this, so. Oh, they're stuck in the upright position. Okay, can you, you get it? Okay, put it, no, put it back in that hook there. Hey. 
hook it back in that hook where you took on it from there. Oh, put it back in? No, no, no. The hook on the bed there. Oh, all right. To store it. Yeah. Yeah, just to store it. Some people don't listen for cable down. So Shove the cable down in the hole there. Get it out of the way. There you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Very good. Very good. Now, slide them poles in. I'll have to get out. All right, do it faster. <laughs> get him out. Oh, we already lubed it up, Ernie. We know we know the cost of not using. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. Just right in the fucking jug. That's how you know it's good. Would you guys hurry the fuck up? Not you, Ernie. You gotta do is take this cable. Yeah. Take this cable. Leave it here, and Vermeer pull that slack away after him there. Okay. So we, we got ahead of ourselves. We should have had that before we put the, the thing. Get out of there, dog. Back when labor was cheap. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine rigging this fucking thing up every day? Yeah. Me. Yeah. Hey, you guys. Yeah, you gotta like hand over hand it. That's why you got all that slack, right? Yeah, that's fine. This here has to go on the inside. This here on the inside, that on the outside. Put it back up there, that's right. Now, no, go on the end, around the end of your pole. Now lay it over top of the pole, on top of the pole. That's right, yeah, there you go. There you go, there you go, there you go. Now put your cap back on. Let me look here, make sure we're doing it right. <laughs> yeah, quit being f***ing stupid. <laughs> that was good foreman's. Look at that live roll, she's still real live. Just f***ing cherry bun. There's probably been some lot litter grease in there. He's meticulous of this shit. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't know why you did. Do you like gym pole trucks? Yeah. Why don't you put a gym pole truck on top of gym pole truck? Oh, yeah, that old Merc's foot. Look at that fucking Merc, boys. I already got one that size. I need one this size. Oh, oh, my pants. Oh, my God. I played just a tip with that shit. Just dip it right in there. Don't even bother to brush. Oh, I, oh yeah, get in there. Oh, f yeah. It's like spitting on it. Now that next time that'll be easier to. Yeah. All right. So that's flipped up. Oh, you gotta bring that cable back here first. So I'm gonna be able to do it all by myself later. <laughs> <laughs> so one might say we're gonna erect the pole, eh? This truck's about to have an erection. Well, look at how fucking manly those hands are. Kevin just had his nails done. <laughs> 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 We already met those. Now we get out of the danger zone. So you swing your purse the same way? All right. Oh, what do you mean danger? Uh, do you want to go oh, underneath and into it? Go in underneath. Oh, shit! You guys want to get her? I'm, I'm videotaping. I'm cameraman here. Useless. Some fucking newbie rolled it up on you. All right, Ernie. Now you're gonna winch it up, and it's gonna get, bring him right up. Right. I'm gonna move. Because it's not a good idea. To pick Okay, yeah, your truck looks pretty expensive. I can't afford that one. You gotta be a good swamper and close the door. I don't reckon this is the first time Ernie's got her up. Oh man. Is that awesome? Fuck it. 
Oh, <laughs> mint indeed. Oh man, yeah, me trying to do this. All right, Ernie was just explaining to us about how power lines and this thing get along like Rosie O'Donnell and exercise. Look at that. Now, uh, what you will do next now? See where the tabs are there. Okay. You wrap a chain around there, one end of the chain, and then down through here, and back up the other end of the chain up there, and put a reamer in there. Okay. Um, that so way they can't. If you got your reach in off, they can't pull the head then. That holds them back. Oh. Okay. Back. Hold them back from yeah, because if like if you for some reason that you broke up broke free of whatever it doesn't fly forward. Yeah, that'd be real bad. Not even leaking oil. Looking good. Yeah. So how much can this thing lift? Yeah, and they call out a wheelie. That's a good thing. We like wheelies. So you never shorten your tieback cables for no, more no, pulling power? No, I, I've, I've never seen anybody do that. Um, yeah, because this is uh, the only thing to say from the back end. Yeah. So uh, how do we get her down without smashing sh <laughs> I got, uh, I'll have to get a chain. And I'll show you a lot of guys. What do you guys? A lot of guys uh, uh, slack the engine off, and then two guys will get in them these sky wires and start. Yeah. <laughs> pretty soon they'll come ahead. That's how I get but, my gin pole down at home. Like I made my own gin yeah, pole truck. But that is very dangerous. Yes. Because what if your hands slip off that cable? Where are you going to go? Somersault backwards. And it, it's only like four or five feet down, and that's probably yeah, not going to be good to fall off the deck. Yeah, but if you fall off of your head, you could take an extra. Yeah, that's probably bad. So that's not a good idea. So, uh, how you do it in a different way? I'll uh, look to see one of these things like this one. Oh. Right, do what he asked you to do. And hurry it up. Oh, look at that sawed off Frenchman. He's like fing faster than he wants to be. He's like a coward fing Spider Man. <laughs> red and blue. Oh yeah, he is red, white, and blue, yeah. eh? American. Hey, you're inadvertently American. Red, white, and blue, there, big guy. Oh, he just shit his pants. Is he driving over the chain? I don't know what yeah, he's doing. Yeah, that's how he's folding them in. Is driving the truck forward. That is smart. You select your line a little bit. You drive over and pull it down. You see, this is why today oh, the age is yeah. failing. I'm terrified already. <laughs> This is why kids are these days because they can't do like this. Never would have thought of that. Me neither. Not, I would have grabbed a pickup and pull it. No, you guys would have tried to use an app because you're stupid. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Kids these days look at the two. Well, there's a lot of room for error here. No, he's going to slack his chain off. If he slacks it too much, it's bad. If he doesn't slack it enough, it's bad. So you won't snap that winch. No, you won't. It'll just come down a little harder. I've done this with mine before. I would hammer when I did mine though. Tire? No, no, I just got my buddy to swamp it. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now it's going to winch out a little bit. Saw it off, don't die. I'll be able to do this, no no problem. Yeah. Well, we're going to just leave it in transportation mode. You might as well. Well, the first thing you're doing, I'm gonna is it's going up again. Yeah, well, I'm going to... I'm that all assembled, I assume. Oh. Then, then uh, you don't have to do that anymore. You just give her all the way. I'm not going to haul any 400 barrels around or fuck yeah. all, you know? That's it. That's it. You're done. You'll never have to do it. Yeah. DOT will barely pull that off the road. Oh, bald eagles. Even the fucking puff that comes out the bottom. Yeah, that's... <laughs> That's more bald eagles. <laughs> now with more bald eagles. Oh. And a. He's got that. He's well done. That's where it sits there, so it doesn't go bang, 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 bang. Oh. I like how he really feeds her the ketchup to get shit moving, eh? Yeah, you can't be no, he can't be. No. 
You don't have time for that. This is where sawed off Frank's gonna get exploded. I'm definitely uncomfortable. <laughs> um. Why, there's not women around. Kevin, there's no battle to be won. You shouldn't be that uncomfy. Oh, he's got her. All right, now. All right, Ernie's chained those together. And now he's sucking it up tight. I think we're doing load securement right now. That is smart, too. Oh, so this guy's down. smart. I'm really disappointed in how dumb I am when it comes to anything. <laughs> Just showing a guy up. Ernie, you are a master of your trade. You're a master of your trade. That is f***ing awesome. We're going to teach a lot of kids with this video, I tell you. Well, Ernie? You're all ready to go? It was a pleasure. Well, you take care. And good You're luck. a good man. Have fun with the old girl. Oh, I will. I'm going to miss her. She'll be in good hands. Oh, good. Really good, yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to kill a lot of old vehicles. Yeah? Oh yeah, that winch is going to be the part in a lot of murdering of old <laughs> old pieces. So, it'll be good. Very really good, yeah. Thank you very much. Well, I mean thank that. You, yeah. You're a good man. Yeah. yeah. Alright, we're f***ing leaving Grimshaw now. Fucking thing. And, uh, guess how much seatbelt it has? Oh yeah, my signal light's on. No idea how to drive this thing. Just smoking like it's a fucking set of dodge wiring. Just a good time. No idea the pattern. Fuck man. Oh. I got an erection. I'm as hard as a diamond in an ice storm right now. Giant f***ing hill? Check. No idea how to drive this thing? Check. Driving while filming? Definitely not check, because that would be illegal. Is this a good day? You want to hear, hear the angels sing? Let freedom ring. Oh, erection engaged. Loyal. Look at that thing. Just here at the old Shopberry Ferry. Fucking minty as got sawed off Frenchman. The old Worthington. Man. Might as well take the ferry. Alright, well you know getting serious when I got a new hat. So I'm gonna show you kids how it's done. First things first. Take the fing sticker off of it. There, it's decker done. See in there? Now look at it. You put a curve in it. It's got being a Oh, that seems like a really swell idea to put the Kenworth on there. That, yeah. That's a good idea. Oh, yeah. So what we got here is a tugboat pushing a, a, a f***ing barge. With a, they got a shack melted to it there. Man. Oh, and a big shout out to Norm and that minty broad at K-Whopper. You guys are mint. Thanks a lot up thing is is that tugboat is just pushing that thing in the peace river this thing flows like a mother that plastic lego set junk and it's just it's just pushing it up the river with a giant propane truck on it that's awesome oh yeah where's the first place you took the day whopper when you took it for a rip well we just went for a little rip on the ferry there and tugboat and well that's you don't have to worry about your camera sinking in the Peace River. Oh, a big shout out to uh, the Minty Mother Blair, and I don't remember his buddy's name because I'm stupid. Get the on here too. But uh, listen to that sawed off Frenchman. You guys are f***ing unreal, man. You guys helped me out so much, man. They hooked me up with a shop. They hooked me up with their red headed native buddy that hooked us up with tires. F me hobbling. Was that a good day? Thank you guys a f lot. What a f treat. I'm going across the river in the dirty OK Whopper. Oh, yeah. I'm the king of the world! And the driver.
driver of the ferry land like a champ. Look at this thing ever a sweetheart. What a treat! Well, I have no idea how far we are from home, but that fucking Shaftbury ferry ride gave us a bit of a detour, but look at this old k forever loyal. Other than the fucking glove box exploding open over the bumps, because, you know, airbags were uh, not something that this truck got. She's got leaf and springs, and fuck are they ever stout. Oh, yeah. And I don't know who lived out here, but God bless you. Look at the fucking burnout. Just kilometers of burnout. Yeah. All right, so you're driving down the road in your bad truck, and you're like, hey, one shifter's not enough. Two shifters isn't enough. What are you doing? You reach behind the seat here, grab an extra shifter, you stick that shifter on that shifter. Now you have three shifters. You might as well have all the shifters. Oh, yeah, bud. What a treat. All right, stopping dirty old one for a quick in uh, Milwaukee retorque. Now we're back at her. Running mint. All right, we're in G Dale here. I figured I'd uh, Billy Big Rig the out of her for you guys here. Let's see if uh, I can't figure out how to drive this thing now. I finally figured out the pattern. Buddy, you want to give the, the skinny pedal a little loving? Yeah, push it. Oh, yeah, America. It's America. Give her more. All the way. Yeah, you know how it works. Good job, buddy. How badass this truck. Man. You want to shut it off? Yeah. All right, push this one right here. Push it hard. It's a good truck. Good truck. 